सो लेट एस स्टार्ट सेक्शन एंड मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला सेक्शन फॉर्मूला देर आर टू पॉइंट्स ए एक्स वन वाई वन देर इज वन पॉइंट ए एक्स वन वाई वन अनदर पॉइंट बी एक्स टू वाई टू द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ बी इज एक्स टू वाई टू देर इज वन पॉइंट पी विथ डिवाइड ए बी पी इज एनी पॉइंट हैविंग कॉर्डिनेट एक्स वाई देन पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इन द रेशियो पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इन द रेशियो पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इन द रेशियो सो पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इन द रेशियो पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इंटरनली इन द रेशियो पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इंटरनली इन द रेशियो इन द रेशियो एम इज टू एन एम इज टू एन इज द रेशियो इन विच पी डिवाइड ए बी दैट मीन्स पी डिवाइड ए बी इन द रेशियो सो ए पी इज रेशियो इज एम पी बी रेशियो इज एन That means P A P upon P B, A P upon P B is M upon N. A P upon P B is M upon N. So P divides P is any point between A and B. So P divide A B in the ratio internally. P divide A B internally in the ratio. So not necessary that P is a midpoint. so p is any point be between a and b not necessary that p is in the cent midpoint of a and b so p is any point then by section formula we apply section formula we can apply section formula and find the coordinates of p what is first coordinate of p x so when you take first coordinate of p x then you have to consider first coordinate of a and first coordinate of b if you consider first coordinate x of point p then you have to consider first coordinate of both these so you will get m n x1 x2 so just cross multiply m multiplied with x2 m Into x two plus n into x one n into x one upon m plus n upon m plus n m and n are ratio in which p divide a b internally. Then we consider second coordinate y. So for second coordinate y of point p, you have to consider. Second coordinate of both the point, y1 and y2. So y will be m multiply m n, then y1 y2. Now cross multiply. So that will be m into y2, m into y2 plus n into y1 upon m plus n. Upon m plus n. Is it clear? Upon m plus n. So if p divide a b internally in the ratio, then x will be x coordinate of p x will be m into x two plus n into x one upon m plus n. What is important? When you consider first coordinate of point p. Then you have to consider first coordinate of both the point. Cross multiply m into x two plus n into x one upon add the ratio m plus n. Then similarly for second coordinate y, you have to consider second coordinate of both the point. So m into y two plus n into y one upon m plus n. So this formula is section formula. When p divides a b. Internally in the ratio m ratio n, when p divides a b 
internally in the ratio m ratio n then we apply section formula so when p divides ab internally in the ratio p is any point between a and b then we apply section formula then we apply section formula and what is midpoint formula section formula and midpoint formula the same thing the same thing we consider there are two points a and b there are two points a and b there are two points a and b a x1 y1 b x2 y2 and p divides ab p is midpoint p divides ab equally means pa is equal to pb p is now midpoint p is in the middle p is in the middle means p is midpoint of ab remember when p is midpoint of ab then p divides ab equally so this ratio is m this ratio is pb is n then in case of midpoint m is equal to n in case of midpoint m is equal to n in case of midpoint m is equal to n so we replace m by n in the section formula what is x m m into x2 plus n into x1 upon m plus n by section formula if p is anywhere between a and b then we apply section formula but if p is midpoint of ab then we apply midpoint formula now m both the ratios are equal because p divide equally pa and pb are equal so ratios are same m is equal to n so if you replace m by n so nx2 plus nx1 upon n plus n what is common n common x2 plus x1 upon 2n n n get cancel what is left x x1 plus x2 upon 2 x1 plus x2 upon 2 same thing we can derive y will be m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n now since p is a midpoint both the ratios are equal not necessary that m and n both are equal to 1 they are in the same ratio m and n can be equal to 2 also m and n can be equal to 3 also because the ratios are equal so y will be replace m by n n y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n so y will be n common y2 plus y1 upon 2n n cancel y1 plus y2 upon 2 so if p is midpoint of ab then you can directly write down the formula there is no need of derivation there is no need of der deriving the formula you can directly write if p is midpoint of ab then x will be x1 plus x2 or x2 plus x1 x1 plus x2 divide by 2 because we divide by 2 because p is midpoint and y will be y1 plus y2 divide by 2 y1 plus y2 divide by 2 and this is midpoint formula so we apply section formula when p is anywhere between a and b p is anywhere between a and b and if p is midpoint p is in the middle of ab p is midpoint means pa is equal to pb then we apply midpoint formula if p divides ab then we apply section formula if p divides ab equally or p is midpoint then we apply midpoint formula Le let us illustrate this with the help of examples thing will be more clear illustrate this with the help of examples a is 1.13 and b is 1.5,9 and p divides ab p divides ab p divides ab in the ratio 
internally in the ratio the ratio is given 1 ratio 2 p divides ab internally in the ratio 1 ratio 2 so find coordinates of p so we draw the diagram this is my point a 1 comma 3 b 5 comma 9 and p is any point having coordinate x y we have to find the coordinate of p so what is the ratio p divide ab internally in the ratio m ratio n m is 1 m is 1 and n is 2 m is 1 and n is 2 so we apply section formula what is x m into x m into x2 plus n into x1 m into x2 plus n into x1 upon m plus n so x will be what is the value of m 1 into x2 x2 means x2 means x1 y1 this is my x1 y1 and this is my x2 y2 so x2 1 into 5 plus n is 2 into x1 x1 means first coordinate 1 upon 1 plus 2 m plus n so x is 5 plus 2 upon 3 answer is 7 by 3 x is 7 by 3 let us calculate y what is the formula y m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n so y will be m m is 1 into y2 y2 is 9 plus n n is 2 into y1 y1 is 3 upon 1 plus 2 m plus n so y will be 9 plus 6 upon 3 15 by 3 15 by 3 is 5 so coordinates of p is x comma y x is 7 by 3 and y is 5 and this is the answer so by applying section formula we can find the point coordinates of the point which divide the line segment joining two points correct so this we apply section formula because the ratios are not equal one ratio two means ratios are not equal so we have to apply section formula let us take one example of midpoint formula let us take one example of midpoint formula a is a point a is a point let us take the same point 1 3 b is 5 9 now p is midpoint p is midpoint p is midpoint means p is midpoint means pa is equal to pb so directly we can apply midpoint formula x is equal to x1 plus x2 1 plus 5 divide by 2 6 divide by 2 that is 3 x and y will be y1 plus y2 divide by 2 what is y1 3 plus 9 divide by 2 12 divide by 2 that is 6 so coordinates of p are x comma y 3 comma 6 so by since p is a midpoint we can apply midpoint formula we have to apply midpoint formula clear let us solve the problems let us solve the problems of finding the ratio of finding the ratio of finding the ratio correct now you are given a point a and b a 2 comma 4 b 6 comma 12 correct and p divides ab internally in the ratio coordinates of p are 3 comma x coordinates of pr 3 comma x coordinates of pr 3 comma x followed find the ratio find the ratio in which p divide ab not necessary that p is a midpoint 
सो वी टेक एम रेशियो एन इन सम ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक दे हैव टेकन के रेशियो वन यू कैन टेक एम रेशियो एन नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन टेक एम रेशियो एन सो दिस इज माई दिस रेशियो इज एम दिस रेशियो एन पी डिवाइड्स ए बी इंटरनली इन द रेशियो नॉट नेसेसरी दैट पी इज अ मिड पॉइंट सो वी अप्लाई सेक्शन फॉर्मूला बाय सेक्शन फॉर्मूला नाउ आई विल कंसिडर फर्स्ट कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट थ्री सो थ्री इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू फर्स्ट कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट when you consider first coordinate of the point which divide then you have to consider first coordinate of both the point m into 6 m n 2 6 cross multiply so m into 6 m into 6 plus n into 2 upon m plus n upon m plus n so cross multiply 3 into m plus n is equal to 6m plus 2n 6m plus 2n then 3m plus 3n open the bracket multiply to each term 6m plus 2n take m on this side and on this side 3n minus 2n is equal to 6m minus 3m 3n minus 2n is n And 6m minus 3m is 3m. Now we want to find m ratio n. So that means we want to find m upon n. So take n in the denominator. One is equal to 3m upon n. Now take three on this side. One by three is equal to m upon n. So m ratio n is one ratio three. What is the ratio? वन रेशियो थ्री सो एम इज वन एन इज थ्री इन दिस रेशियो पी डिवाइड ए बी इन दिस रेशियो पी डिवाइड ए बी दैट इज सेम एज ए पी अपॉन पी बी ए पी अपॉन पी बी वॉट इज ए पी वन पी बी इज थ्री वन अपॉन थ्री और एम रेशियो एन समाइम दे आस आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द रेशियो Find the value of x. After finding the ratio, they ask, find the value of x. So we have found the ratio. We have found the ratio. Now let us find the value of x. Again, we apply section formula. We put the value of m as one, n as three. Now what is my x? X is my second coordinate. So x is equal to Now I will consider second coordinate of both the point. So this is one three m one n three. Then second coordinate four twelve cross multiply. So that will be one into twelve plus three into four upon one plus three upon m plus n section formula. So x will be twelve plus twelve upon four. X will be twenty four upon four. X will be six. The value of x is six. So coordinates of P is three comma x. That is three comma six. Or the value of x is six. Got it? Followed. So section formula. Using section formula, find the ratio or find the value of unknown. This is one type of problem. using section formula find the ratio in which the point divide the line segment joining two points now let us take another example a and b are two points a and b are two points a minus 3 minus 1 b 5 comma 7 5 comma 7 Correct. Then it is as find the ratio in which the line x is equal to two. The line x is equal to two divides AB. Divides AB. 
find the ratio in which the line x is equal to 2 divide ab so basically we have to find the ratio this ap is my m and pb is n correct ap is m pb is n find the ratio in which the line x is equal to 2 will divide ab so any point p is a point on line x is equal to 2 so x value will be 2 and y value will take y so i will take p as 2 comma y because p is a line point on the line x is equal to 2 so while writing the coordinates of p x value will be 2 y value will be y now apply section formula apply section formula now this value is known this is my first coordinate 2 so i will consider first coordinate of both the point first coordinate of both the points so m n then first coordinate minus 3 first coordinate 5 cross multiply and add so you will get 2 is equal to first coordinate m into 5 plus n into minus 3 upon m plus n we have to find the ratio m and n so when this line a b is divided by x is equal to 2 the line a b and x is equal to 2 intersect at point p what will be the coordinate of p the point p is on this line x is equal to 2 so x value will be 2 y value will be y so 2 is equal to m into phi so 2 is equal to phi m plus into minus 3n upon m plus n cross multiply so 2m plus 2n is equal to 5m minus 3n take 2m on this side 3 on this side 2n plus 3n 2n plus 3n is equal to 5m minus 2m so 5n is equal to 3m we want to find m ratio n or m upon n so take n denominator 5 upon 3 is equal to m upon n so m ratio n is phi ratio 3 this is the ratio in which this divide so my m value is phi n value is 3 sometimes they ask how will find the coordinates of p how will find the coordinates of p so after finding the ratio substitute the value of the ratio m and n m is phi n is 3 now to find y y is my second coordinate so i will use second coordinate of both the point so you will get y is equal to m phi into second coordinate 7 plus n 3 into second coordinate minus 1 upon m plus n 5 plus 3 so y value will be 5 7 are 35 plus into minus 3 upon 8 y will be 35 minus 32 by 8 8 4 za so y value is 4 so the coordinates of p is 2 comma y y is 4 2 comma 4 put the value of y as 4 so coordinates of p is 2 comma 4 so this is an, another example this is another example this is another example clear this is another example let us take one more example let us take one more e example let us take one more example diagram the diagram is given this is my x this is my x axis this is my y axis x axis y axis x axis and y axis clear x axis and y axis and this is my origin o this is my y axis 
there is one line AB. There is one line AB. A B. A is a point on x-axis. B is a point on y-axis. Now, point P. P coordinate is given five comma minus four. Correct. And P divide AB. P divide AB in the ratio phi ratio two or two ratio phi. P A is two given. P A upon P B is given. That is two ratio phi. Two upon phi. That means P A is two and P B is phi. So P divide A B in this ratio. Find the coordinates of both the point. Find the coordinates of A and coordinates of B. Find the coordinates of A and coordinates of B. Correct. Now remember this. A is a point on x-axis. In reflection chapter we have studied, any point which lies on x-axis has y coordinate zero. So A coordinates will be x comma zero. Any point which lies on x-axis has y coordinate second coordinate zero. Similarly, any point which lies on y-axis has x coordinate zero. So zero comma y. A is a point on x-axis, so its y coordinate means second coordinate must be zero. First coordinate x. B is a point on y-axis, so first coordinate must be zero. X coordinate should be zero. Second coordinate y. Now we apply section formula because P divide AB internally in the ratio two ratio phi. So this you can take M or N. This is my M. M is two and N is phi. Apply section formula. So we consider first coordinate phi. So I will consider first coordinate of both the point. First coordinate of both the point. Multiply this ratio by this coordinate. This ratio by this coordinate. So what you will get? Phi. First coordinate of P phi is equal to ratio phi multiplied by this phi into x plus ratio two multiplied by this coordinate x zero. Upon phi plus two, so phi is equal to phi x plus zero upon seven. Cross multiply seven phi is a thirty phi. Thirty phi is equal to phi x. So thirty phi divided by phi is equal to x. So x value is seven. X value is seven. Similarly, you can use second coordinate of p minus four. So when you use second coordinate of point which divide AB, then you have to use second coordinate of both the point. So y will be sorry, minus four. Minus four will be phi into zero, phi into second coordinate plus two into first coordinate, two into second coordinate, two into y. Phi into zero plus two into y upon phi plus two. So minus four is equal to phi into zero zero plus two y upon phi plus two seven. Cross multiply minus twenty eight is equal to two y minus twenty eight by two is equal to y minus fourteen is equal to y. Y is minus fourteen. So what is coordinate of a? A का coordinate क्या है? X comma zero. X comma zero. What is the value of x? Seven. So coordinates of A is seven comma zero. Coordinate of A is seven comma zero. Then coordinate of B is zero comma y. So B is zero comma y. Y is minus fourteen zero comma minus fourteen. So in this way we find coordinate of A and coordinate of B. Clear? Followed? Yes. Now let us take another example. Each type we are covering problem in section and midpoint formula. Whichever type of problems are there, each type of problem we are trying to understand. Now next question. There is a triangle ABC. There is a triangle ABC. ABC is a triangle. Then vertices are a minus three comma four. 
then b 3 comma minus 1 and c minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma 4 correct then ap is a median ap is a median ap is a median through vertex a through vertex a we draw median so what is median it divide bc ap is a median of bc means p divides bc equally means pb is equal to pc so p becomes midpoint p becomes midpoint p becomes midpoint so having coordinate x y then it is asked what is the length of the median length of median ap length of median ap is asked what is length of ap correct ap is a median which divide bc into two equal parts if it is ap is a median that means ap is going to divide bc into two equal parts in that case p will be midpoint so apply midpoint formula get the coordinate of p so by midpoint formula x first coordinate so first coordinate of this plus first coordinate of this divide by 2 3 plus minus 2 divide by 2 3 plus minus 2 3 minus 2 divide by 2 answer is 1 by 2 x is half correct then y midpoint formula minus 1 y means second coordinate so second coordinate of this plus second coordinate of this minus 1 plus 4 divide by 2 that is 3 divide by 2 3 by 2 y is 3 by 2 so coordinate of p chalo we'll see what is a minus 3 4 and p x comma y half comma 3 by 2 follow then in 9th standard you have studied distance formula you have studied distance formula so what i can write ap how will find the length ap by using distance formula what is that square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square x1 minus x2 square plus y2 minus y1 square by distance formula distance formula of 9th standard distance formula so that is square root of x2 x2 is half half minus minus 3 half minus minus 3 cos square plus y2 3 by 2 y2 